Hey guys, this is Kevin. Today we're going to sh、uh, show you how to replace a、uh, uh, Epson printhead. So at first, I hope you don't mind.、Uh, here's the door trigger、uh, start here. So when they push it down, the printer think the door is closed.、Uh, to be able to show you,、uh, let me put a piece of a、uh, uh, piece of foam here, so the printer think the door is closed. So I can I can open this printer and show you. So first thing, first thing we need to do is make make this thing movable, can move back and forth. So this thing is、uh, locked here. If you look at this way, there's a white white lock. Let's see right here. And to unlock it, so first thing we so we power it on. So as soon as you see it's moving, unplug the power. Okay. So now this thing can move back and forth. Okay, now、uh, I don't know if you want to keep this cover or not. I I usually just throw it away. So you move this to the middle of those two slots so this this cover can open. Just put your finger here. Just pull it apart and it'll come out.、Uh, I'll throw this one away. If you want to keep yours and put and put it back, just put it back. Here are all the tools that you need. Screwdriver. A a Phillips screwdriver is pretty small one for this guy. And also you need some kind of、uh, either a needle or something you can、uh, poke it. You you can poke stuff. Okay. After that, you we remove the cartridge. Okay. So the first thing we do is we remove this cover,、uh, which is、uh, we have uh, remove this. Uh, this screw, and then there, there's one tab here, one tab here, and then there's one tab here. So let's remove the screw first, and then, and then we're going to do this tab and、uh, this tab. You can just use your finger, just lift it up. You can see, okay. And this one, okay, and then here, okay, pretty easy. Now we're going to remove as、uh, this pin board. This pin board is secured on the two sides. Okay, first one is really easy. If I zoom in. You can see get a get a square opening right here, so you just have a needle just push it in and leave this this side up. Now after I leave this side up, this side is hard to find. Okay, if I zoom in, you can see a tiny thing. Maybe maybe you can't.、Uh, what happened is、uh, the This opening is blocked by this white plastic. However, however, if you know where it is,、uh, it's right here. So it's, and if you go down, it's right here. Even you cannot see it. That's fine. Just use your uh, poker. Uh, for me, I'm using a needle. Just poke it in. Just assume you can assume you see an opening. So line up with this.、Uh, line up with this. So I go all the way down. It's right here. So I just dig it in, push it in. Okay. Now we put the board on side, and this cover can be lifted up、uh, just with a finger. Now the printhead is secured by the three screws. We unscrew those. And now the print printhead it can be easily removed. And、uh, remember the cable. There's one long cable go all the way to here, and it goes in. And then there's a cable.、Uh, there's another side here. Just pull on this long cable and、uh, remove. Remember the printhead. This cable you removed. It goes in like this. The bl the blue is towards、uh, towards you or towards the sky. So it goes in like this. And the same as other ones. 
And uh, so if I put a print head in, the two cables should look like this. The blue over, always towards, towards up. Okay, now is the what you pay money for. Okay, how to, how to put a new one in. First thing remember is that this label over towards you, so you're supposed to put in like this, okay? Second thing is most people, when they put in the cable, all messed up, and uh, they always ask me, hey, Kevin, how you arrange the cables? Okay, let me show you show you one trick that's very easy, okay? Uh, first thing is, is uh, make sure that the cables are clean, because when you remove it, this cable might coming down and dip in the ink, so make sure this is clean. And uh, this is dry and clean, okay? So that's good. So over goal is the print has sit down like this, and we put we put this this one in like this. So lots of people when they put it in, they will like try very hard, and then they flip this. So like a flip this like this, they put it in, and uh, the whole thing messed up. So what you do is just make it relax, okay? Okay, and here's your plan, okay? So if I put in like this, my plan is put this in like this. So, I f so I'm gonna use my finger to flip both of them, flip like this. So I flip this way, and I'm flipping this this way. Got it? So now I, now I put it in. Okay, now I'm flipping it backwards. Okay, so you can see here it look really messy, but when, well not if you put an after you put it in and uh, you put in another cable. So this one, my plan is goes in like this. So I can just tilt this up. Put it in. Okay. So now both of them uh, has a crack orientation. So when you put it in, okay, see, it's not a ma it's not too messy. <laughs> Look messy, but it's going to be covered up. Okay. So the third thing is also very important is uh, how to set how to set your uh, printhead. If I zoom in, you can see you have a guide. Okay, so you have a you have a guide here. Then you have a screw hole. So guide, screw hole, guide, screw hole. So first thing you do is you want to you want to lay it flat, and. Uh, So by the way, this cable just push it away. Okay, you don't want to be underneath, so you just put it away, put it on the side. So you can see the work guide is in, and on this side, your challenge is make this as tight as flat as possible, because if you get a little bit screwed. Um, the printer clean by using this rubber pad to attach to the bottom and suck ink. If you not install this evenly, later on when you when you clean the the print head, uh, you will not have suck any suctions because you're uh, because you didn't install this leveled. So I'll put uh, the first one in. Just give a couple twists, and for it's, it's in. And then I wiggle it a little bit, just make sure it's, uh, it's uh, even. Then I put the third one in. Then I just, tie, just tighten them one by one, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, I need to untighten this because no one is tightening now yet. So I just got to a couple twists for each one, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, until every everyone is tight. In this way, you install this even. Uh, see, 
actually in the middle I push this one down okay here it here is actually coming down it's locked and this is the reason that uh, lots of people they they failed after they replaced the print head because their print head is not installed uh, install install leveled so so they cannot run the self-cleaning uh, effectively so after this is very easy push those ca the cables aside okay now the, the chipboard when we put the the board in make sure that uh, you uh, this one goes to the slot first and make sure this one is, is lined up with this notch so the board is parallel so parallel to the case it's not screwed good way of checking if you put it uh, uh, parallel to the uh, box is if you remember that square hole if if you install correctly the it actually latches on that hole so if you push it in that can release the uh, you can feel the resistance or release the board and you can here click then you can release it okay so the so the board is installed correctly if you do not if you did not install correctly it is going to uh, has an angle then you have a couple of cartridge can read a couple of cartridge can't now the only thing left to do is put this one back and I use my finger to tuck the cable in a little bit. So I start from the right. And those two are locked. Then I just push it down. Then I put a screw. I hope you like this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. Technology.